The U.S. has a robot warship that can hunt enemy submarines. The Department of Defense is reportedly home to many a robotic contraption these days, but they've all got nothing on this bad boy. The Sea Hunter is an autonomous drone designed primarily to track enemy submarines that are equipped with quiet electric diesel engines. It is currently being tested by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. Unveiled in April 2016, the 40-meter vessel can travel at 31 miles per hour. It has no armaments. Its design resembles a Polynesian outrigger canoe. This helps it navigate the ocean and handle challenging six-meter high waves. Advanced software and hardware allow it to operate autonomously around other vessels and remain at sea for months at a time. The testing period is set to finish in 2018. If it's successful, it will be handed over to the U.S. Navy. Here's other animations on military technology. Iron Man may no longer be a movie fantasy. Now the U.S. Army is developing a tactical assault light operator suit designed to provide soldiers with superhuman strength and greater ballistic protection. The Iron Man armor suit can monitor a soldier's heart rate, hydration levels and core body temperature. The suit would respond to the data supplied by an onboard computer hooked up to sensors to keep a soldier in the optimum condition for battle. The body armor can transform from liquid to solid in milliseconds when a magnetic field or electrical current is applied. If a soldier is wounded, the Talos suit would monitor their health or even stop the bleeding using a wound stasis program. While an exoskeleton likely powered by hydraulics gives the wearer superhuman strength, the lightweight suit will also provide the wearer with night vision, increasing a soldier's mobility. Antennas provide capacity for communications. Like all good superheroes, however, Talos has a weakness, as it currently needs a heavy hydraulic pump or battery to help operate all the high-tech equipment. U.S. test sniper bullet that changes direction. The Department of Defense has been testing a 50 caliber bullet that can change direction mid-flight. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, is testing a new sniper bullet under the Exacto or Extreme Accuracy Test Ordinance program. The system combines a maneuverable bullet and a real-time guidance system to track and deliver the projectile to its target, allowing the bullet to change direction during flight to compensate for any unexpected factors that may drive it off course. DARPA has announced two rounds of successful tests for the Exacto bullet, one in February and another in March. In both cases, the bullet was purposely fired off target, yet was still able to hit the target. DARPA hopes that the bullet will be helpful in windy and dusty terrain in regions such as Afghanistan. Pentagon tests Bald J decoy missile. The U.S. Marine Corps and U.S. Air Force announced on Tuesday that they had successfully completed the first flight demonstration of a miniature air-launched decoy jammer with the radio data link. The miniature air-launched decoy, or MALD, weighs less than 300 pounds and has a range of approximately 500 nautical miles. MALD can be launched from a range of aircraft, from B-52 bombers to F-16 fighters. MALD can autonomously fly a pre-planned route and use its signature augmentation system to mimic the radar signatures of a range of aircraft, from bombers to stealth fighter planes. MALT could also mimic the radar signatures of the formation of bombers or fighter jets to distract the enemy's defense system, while radar-seeking F-16J wild weasels follow behind and destroy the enemy's radars and surface-to-air missile sites. A B-52 could launch a flight of MALTs masquerading as low-flying F-15s towards the enemy's surface-to-air missile sites as a distraction, allowing F-22 stealth fighter aircraft to evade the enemy's surface-to-air missiles and hit targets deep inside enemy territory. A newer version, called MALD J, was delivered in 2012. In addition to MALD's decoy functions, MALD J can also spoof and jam enemy electronic systems. MALD J is also equipped with a radio data link. MALD J can send situation awareness data to the battle manager, who can use this information to adjust MALD J's mission while in flight. In the future, MALJs may be able to use their data links to communicate with each other, enabling them to work together as a swarm, and allowing the swarm to be controlled by a pilot in a manned aircraft. The future of U.S. defense may well be under the sea. 
It won't be long before the Pentagon will be able to launch surprise attacks on America's enemies from deep beneath the sea. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, is developing a defense technology using special pods that hibernate on the ocean floor until they are deployed. Called Upward Falling Payloads, or UFPs, the pods are 15 feet high and can contain drones or weapon systems. The pods would be pre-positioned throughout the world's oceans, lying dormant until they are activated in weeks, months, or years. Once released remotely, the UFP riser rapidly floats to the surface with the help of a buoyant collar. It then deploys on the surface, releasing whatever drone or weapon is contained inside. DARPA is currently building and sea testing the system's riser and communication components. The next phase will involve sea demonstrations.